get to hear me now Yo guys, what is going on? Farfetch here, back with another YouTube video. Today I'm going to be showing you and teaching you how to um, trade, sell and buy for an account safely. Um, I'm actually live commenting over this, like a lot of videos. So, you know, I might die. But today, um, I'm going to teach you guys how to basically trade, sell, buy um, Fortnite accounts for like just safely really um, it's pretty straightforward I'll just be telling you a few things you can do a few places you can go a few probably I might link a few trusted sellers etc and a few um, ways you can uh, know if you're 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 getting a legit a legit sale and you're not gonna get scammed okay does this guy know I'm here We need to just like ruin the video, but the first step to buying and selling accounts is um basically what you're gonna want to do is you you're gonna want to make sure that um when you're buying accounts you're asking for something called vouchers. I'll put like an example of a vouch on the screen because um, I've got vouchers before I sell accounts myself. Um, but you're gonna want vouchers off the person you're buying off. I'm gonna put um try and put an example of a vouch on screen right now. Uh, so you know sort of what one looks like. You're gonna need vouchers. Vouchers are like little um basically they're sort of like proof, like it's someone vouching for you and giving like like sort of telling people you're legit and just letting people know like giving you giving a little bit of proof to just so it's like evidence of sales you've basically got and people vouch for you um, if you sell so a lot of sellers if they're trusted usually have vouchers and um, if they're trusted yeah as I've said they will probably have um, s vouchers from people so if you're gonna buy make sure you say like you ask if the person you're buying off has vouchers if they claim to be trusted they will have vouchers and if they don't they're definitely not a trusted seller and they're definitely not legit so I wouldn't buy off them just make sure you're asking and see if people have vouchers because then um, they're the best sellers to get off make sure the vouchers are like somewhat legit Okay, finally we copped the dub in a video. Um, okay, yeah, but um, what I was saying, a lot of um, people uh, who are legit will have vouchers, and you need to ask for them. Make sure you've done that. You've asked for vouchers. They're probably verified on a website for selling. Um, a lot of people are if they sell legitly. They're probably verified on like Sally or something like that. But you don't want to trust like that. You can't go 100% off of that. Um, if you're buying. Um, make sure just just make sure they're legit you can literally a lot of places have um trusted sellers um and just make sure you're buying off the right people it's just that simple it's sort of if you're new to it i i i don't know start small don't be paying massive prices if you're um if you're if you're buying, try and buy on goods and service. If they don't mention anything about paying on friends and family, um, if I was you, I'd just pay a goods and service because, um, uh, yeah, because on goods and service you can get a charge back. So if you're getting scammed, you can charge back the money throughout PayPal or make a call or whatever, and most likely be in favour of getting your money back as soon as it's a goods and service. And you can just say your service you paid for was not provided and you'll probably get your money back so make sure you try and pay through that but don't if it's like the sellers trying to make you pay for friends and family just sort of do it it's, it's usually sellers priority but um depending on how much vouch etc they have just just do on um just try and get us brought on goods and service but don't mention anything about that but i whenever i buy accounts i do that on goods and service just in case i for example i got scammed i could then charge back 
but don't be charging back if you actually get the account because that's that's what ruins people like sellers that's why a lot of sellers do try and get you to pay on friends and family because um i mean even the sellers can get scammed by the people who are buying their accounts because they might send the money and then charge back and then the seller ends up losing out so i don't know it's it's, it's sort of buyer's priority but you can can pay goods and service to avoid getting um scammed or uh, not even avoid to getting scammed but to avoid um losing out when you get scammed because then you can charge back and get your money back and then that's that's how it would work with trading uh, i wouldn't recommend trading like personally trading's a no-go for me anyway trading it's too risky it's like way too risky if you trade make sure you're probably going first getting the account and if you you're legit don't be like don't be the scammer in trading like you're probably watching this video trying not to get scammed so if you're trading um just it's hard to i don't know how to put it but if you're trading forgot about the timer there but yeah if you're trading um try and go first and just make sure you're trading with the right people um again you can ask for reps a lot reps like voucher etc when you're trading just um when trading it's just overall a very risky pro process so like i just personally i wouldn't trade just don't be greedy if you've got an account just i would say keep it and just don't don't take the risk because it's probably not going to be worth it a lot of scamming comes in when, uh, when it comes to trading accounts in yeah trading it's down to you but i wouldn't take the risk that's my my little tip with trading so there's not much more i can tell you on that um selling and buying basically you just need to make sure you're um, basically finding the right people to, to buy, find the right people, ask for vouchers, rep, make sure you're buying off trusted and verified sellers who are actually trusted and verified. You can probably find some good servers, um, but usually people with um, who, are, who, are, who are very big in the community or have like maybe a good following on Twitter, um, uh, maybe not even that, maybe just um, have a good following on YouTube or someone who has a lot of reputation and probably will not risk losing that are usually trusted like for example if someone's a server owner and they're they they, they might um sell accounts and they're probably quite trusted as soon as that if they were to scam they'd probably lose all the rap for example me i have a youtube channel i own discord server with over like 450 people in if i was to scam i'd lose all that I, like i just wouldn't be able to sell anymore i'd lose all the rep i had so it's just one of them really Oh, he just got murdered. Make sure you're probably finding people who are trusted, and it's your best bet with anything to do with um selling or trading. Just just find people that are trusted. It sounds easier than it probably is, and you're probably not going to trust a lot of people. So if you're, you can if I whenever I buy, I usually crack counts myself. But whenever I buy, um, I usually re buy and resell sometimes. So whenever I do that. I usually try and buy off, um, I find, I try and buy small, find someone I know, I've got people who are trusted I know now, but try and buy, find people like I know are trusted, and um, if, if they're trusted then I'll continuously buy off them, so it's like you need to find someone and probably, I would say stick with them, it's like, it's the best thing to do, because if you find someone um, who are actually trusted, just just stick with them it's like you don't want to keep switching around if you think they're good and um, they're trusted and uh, yeah okay I I am murking some kids but if you find someone who's trusted you think they're good and that you know you can trust them for like uh, a period of time that they're, they're providing cheap and good accounts i would say stick with them you don't want to be switching around too much on people you you buy off and just make sure they're trusted it's that simple ask for vouchers um don't trade that's that's my tip you can do you can trade but similar process it's all the same really you gotta make sure they're trusted and just make sure they've got rep vouchers etc 
because it's it's way too easy to get scammed and getting scammed is the worst thing any like that can happen to you so like you just it's just so bad like i don't know how personally i don't know how people can scam i don't know how people can it's like such a horrible thing to do i don't know how people can scam and just think think any good of it but like it's stealing like scamming stealing money so if you're paying big amounts i don't know like you might want to go first make sure you're sending goods and service anything over like 50 definitely sends goods and service if you if you even if they're legit like i would just 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 it's a big amount to lose and if you can't charge that back and then some reason they somehow turn to be a scammer just just that's how it's going to be you, you, you're going to be you're going to be quite pretty lost um also if you're getting non file access accounts that's perfectly fine the accounts i sell are non file access um but make sure you're make sure that even if they're non file access just make sure they're usually um minor but make sure they're unverified and inactive because then that means you can go on them without any problem but you can't link them and um, but if they're unverified you can also always add um your own for, for like like two two fa like two factor authentication it's like basically a phone verification and and if that's already added onto the account even if it's a full access um it can maybe affect their account so make sure non full accesses are always unverified and you'll get an inactive account because if they're verified that there's like no use to them but um there's methods to get full access anyway on um non file access accounts which is like nfa but there's methods to get file access anyway like on my youtube channel I ha i've done a whole video on how to change your epic email and pass and that changing your epic email and pass is the full access because your the full access is like email access that's that's what full access is it's um email access so if you have the email access to an account you have full access over that account meaning you can change the email and password without um having any worry of their account being pulled back or any suspicious like anything happening to their account this only happens really on cracked accounts but you can buy full access non-cracked accounts really but that depends on if you want to do that or not um i sell accounts so you could literally buy off me if you wanted to like i have vouchers rep i have tons of stuff i sell accounts so if you ever want to purchase off me Feel free to do that, cause um, okay, never mind. But yeah, guys, if you want to purchase off me, be sure to do that. I'm gonna throw in a few trusted sellers and their discords in the description. I'll um, that's about it. So if you ever want to buy, um. Just make sure you get someone trusted, ask for vouchers, ask for all the basics, it's pretty straightforward. Um, if this video is long, I'm sorry, but it hopefully it cleaned some stuff up if you don't want to get scammed. But um, also my Discord server, you will not get scammed in there. I can guarantee you that I have trusted verified sellers, verified like sellers for verified shops for sellers in there like um we have a middleman service again i forgot to mention that you you might want a middleman middleman would um help prevent you getting scammed it's like someone who does a middle process of things and they basically they're like the middleman in the transaction of selling or trading and they and they're like they ensure you get that their account gets to you safely and you get their account once you've sent the money it's pretty straightforward we have them in the the um discord server as well so if you want to um a middleman trusted you can go into my discord server and we provide that too and we do a lot of giveaways so if you're not even looking to buy accounts trade or whatever um we do a lot of giveaways over there so you can also go and enter them but um anyway guys hope you enjoyed this video and yeah